Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with Black Ice. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll do that at the beginning here. We're running through at a pretty fast pace. I'm not doing total five for the piece, but... We're getting ready. We want to subdue the warlord, see if that will help us. Whether we can do them one at a time or all at once, I'm not sure. Okay, we have more factories available. Okay. Um, we've started producing armored cars and flying boats. Yay, like flying boats. Well, let's increase armored cars too, just at least to get them up to efficiency. How are we doing for infantry guns? We have 740. Okay, well, let's reduce this by one. I'm going to put that up to, yes, you got it, flying boats. Hopefully getting ready to suppress those nasty U.S. submarines that may plague my... My shipping later on. Okay. Speed up! Put them on the train. Should for that movement should have like a train thing. Instead of the marching boots. Okay, decryption and else. Okay, so we can read it now. Let's see if we can encrypt ourselves. Or do we want to do... No, we want to do encryption. We want to have at least a level of encryption. Now, mentioning encryption. Um, well, it starts with an o, Oshima or something similar to that. Sorry. Probably getting it wrong. Some of the time, um, military attaché, later ambassador to... Um, Germany, uh, from Japan, he was one of the U.S. greatest intelligence sources um, for the war on Germany. Yes, we did have the um, the ultra, <coughs> excuse me, uh, decrypts <coughs> from the British. Excuse me, and we did, which got us a lot of that stuff. But that was more like, um, oh shipping schedules for troops to North Africa or, you know, orders where the stuff that, um, uh, I think it's Oshima. I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong. Um, I think he's here. Let's see. Um, I know I saw him. Yeah, Hirok, um, Hiroshi Oshima. They're, they're having him as a Prince of Terror. He, I don't know if he would have been, he, but that wasn't his job. So it is Oshima. See, I got that right. I remember. Um, he was a military guy who was an ambassador to the Third Reich. He was pretty plugged in. He was one of the guys who, he spoke German. He got to know Hitler pretty well, while still one of the other, and I can look it up, probably maybe one of the guys here. Um, was the ambassador um, to Germany. Um, but he he was sort of got to know some of Ribbentrop and some of very well and a few of the others and really sort of pushed the pro um, Japan policy as opposed to the pro China policy that Hitler sort of inherited when he came to power. 
Um, so that's what he did. But since he was so plugged into the leadership, he um, consulted with them during the war as, you know, what, what are you thinking? You know, oh, we're going to do, you know, this or, you know, major sort of um, future plans for, for Germany, whether weeks or months or, you know, years or whatever, theoretically, in advance. And so he was sending all these reports back to Japan via radio um, encoded. Uh, so the allies, which had broken the Japanese code, were reading them. And so these weren't like the details, like the, the ultra stuff to like be able to um, uh, identify a convoy at sea or, or something like that and, and deal with it that way. Or know when troops were ordered to attack or when troops were ordered to retreat, you know. You can get a few days warning, like, you know, the schedule. But general overall strategic thinking, he gave the U.S. a great amount of thought on that. Now, he didn't know that at all because he was, um, would, would have been very displeased with that. But that's what he was, in fact, doing during the war. So, interesting <coughs> encryption, decryption. Okay, light aircraft level four reach now. This one. What I'm trying to do here is kick down some of the worst allow some of this to complete here get some of their um, infrastructure back up I'm trying to think here don't think we're going to be building any radar that's going to be effective in the time scope of that war, but... Now, let's start the process. Kick those to the top, but I want to kick that, that to the top, let's move that down, move that down, get some of that done, get some more of that done, okay. Type 11, 70 millimeter infantry mortar team two. Okay, level two. That's just a tech that we will switch over to to building better mortars. These, the 50 millimeter, these are sort of the ones that they have to call it knee mortar, I believe. We're getting mountain divisions uh, researched up. could should be done but we just have to be somewhat careful now this would be nice a more medium artillery piece as opposed to the lighter ones uh, 50 millimeter is pretty big yeah let's go with
Excuse me, I think that would be a, a good choice. Yeah, that landing craft one, that took a lot of research time. We have one Yamato now in, in um, production, and I just did the, the only had 27 naval points, I just did the improved AA for it, um, for the design model, just figuring that would be a prudent thing to do. <coughs> Sorry I'm coughing so much. Drink something. I think instead of trying to do a new model of ship, we need to do some of these. measures to just to <coughs> excuse me and overall way to check the Slovakia so Czechoslovakia goes bye bye Slovakia is still there And we've reached heavy aircraft level three. That is good. Let's check our buildings now. So, <coughs> sorry, I really am about the coughing. Don't know if I should stop. I mean, I can talk. I hope the coughing isn't too off putting. Another heavy aircraft I'm going to get those flying boats and such. Flying boats and naval bombers. Ooh, I'm gonna get some of this other stuff done as well. We're getting there on Subdued the Warlords, we'll see how that goes. Okay. The Type 89 I go. Tank? Quite honestly, I love tanks, but I really just don't know much about the Japanese tank models. So... A lot of texts, a lot of doctrines that I want to research. German Reich claims memo, okay. Well, I know I'm not the most expert playing Japan or anything like that, but I hope if nothing else you can learn from my mistakes if I'm making some 
bad ones as you watch the series. Okay, so do the warlords. Okay, that's given me a bunch of war goals. Great, that's just what I wanted. Now, got war goals, got that. Until we do last stand in Korea, we're not going to mess with that. We see we can't do it. Bomber and fighter, bomber and technical, okay. Super heavy battleships. I sort of don't like those. Just I don't know how much cost versus, you know, effectiveness they're going to be. Especially just do more carriers. Synthetic oil focus. I'm very tempted to do that. Yeah, we're doing some of those improvements, so we want to do that. Okay. So. I think we're ready. We're going to start here. We're going to declare war. Conquer focus. Great. I don't think we need any allies. Slow this down a bit. Okay, there's their capital, so let's Dubious. attack there. Let's see, let's get some air power up and going here. Let's move these guys. Oh, we can't get there yet. Okay. on the board is why we're seeing it but we can't get there. I think most of these are over here. I don't want to. guys haven't yet at least joined in.
Okay, well, let's see. We have more research, so we will do the advanced machine tools. And also, if we now can do a tank factory, let's Can improve our government. Now, <coughs> for, sorry, I forget which one of you criticized that we're. Um, I stated we're doing a naval power, and I picked I forget which um, army general. I don't remember we're doing a, uh, we're a naval power. But so far, all of our real wars have been in the landmass of Asia. Um, these I'm. See, I'm not sure, and sorry, I know for I know it says it says the design company will affect um, permanently the aircraft capabilities. So I don't know if that's true or not. I know for a while it wasn't. Liability, reliability, airspeed, agility. No, we don't have much of those. Mitsubishi, Nakajima, Yes, so that's Hankel aircraft, so if we were doing Hankel designs here. Okay, how interesting. And those are... Well, we got some care of carrier fire repair. No, I think we're going to go with the Mitsubishi. And... Oh yes, we have the better mortar teams we need to improve too. And we now have the IGO tank. We will put that into production as well. Let's see, let's move that to the bottom. that to the bottom The reason this fight is going on is this is just a, you know, those occupation division. Not very effective. Keeping that militia division there. Right up. Okay, our medium artillery. Mm. 
Yeah, we could do better artillery as regular artillery as well, too. And yes, I am a bit of a land power first kind of guy, but yeah, you're just going to stay there. Um, I'm surprised they're still even fighting and taking their real capital. Secondary victory point province already. Yeah, so far it's mostly just marching time across the rivers. And now we got this. Good. Better fighter bombers, which we're going to convert some stuff over there, I think. Um... Badly, okay. Maybe aircraft level four, good. is what happens sometimes. Let's see. We don't have anybody needing yet, but we want to put in production. Larger or larger. Two factories worth for the moment. should have some resources in it. Maybe not. Get it. Come on now, I cross the river, but get across the damn river. Okay, now we have three naval slots. Ah, yeah.
Yep, we've already got 100% pin turn. Stop. Uh, let me think about. Let's see, I'm looking maybe a heavy cruiser. Let's reduce this by two. We're going to keep building, but we aren't going to build as much. So let's get a CA into production. There we go. Okay, so that is a, I think, an un, an entrable one. Shit. Oh well, we can enter that. Okay. Be warned if they come that way. Okay, so this problem is basically, or this. Warlord or whatever had no resources. <coughs> Maybe that's why his army was so small. Now. I don't even know if I bother. Um. Oh. Damn it. Um, hold all of it. I just want this. They're going to be a bit more of a tough nut to crack, but we're going to maybe save them to last. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's. Lots of them, and we want to turn them over to the military support this model. Much better aircraft, I do believe. And those guys you attack there.
here. There we go. Oh, well, I guess they could attack us over here. So it's not going to be much of anything if they do. And it looks like we've cleaned up most of our infrastructure there, which is good. I want to build a submarine yard. there. Yeah, well, we've improved that artillery. That is nice. Now, let's see. Not used to this track. Ground attack. Air support mission efficiency. Carousel bombing. Tactical. Okay. Um, agility for better fighters. Naval mission. Oh, naval mission. Of, okay, that, that, that. Um. Oh, actually, actually, I think you can do both of these. Yes. Oh, okay, both paths are available. It's not an exclusive. So we may come back to that someday. rivers.
sorry, I thought we were going forward. Okay, encryption, good. We want to at least do some of that to not be too bad versus the U.S. Just because I want to really look really far out into the seas, give better coverage there. I'm going to do that as well. Gonna hold off and see if we can get this finished before we do more of the naval tax. Put more into production. I think we're well. Maybe build. Well, we're, yeah. Probably just build more factories. Um, okay. Got the heavy howitzers and what? Okay. Improve, oh, we want to improve our. Yes, we want to make the improved artillery because we have enough artillery for now. Detrimental there isn't a problem. Let's increase armor cars production for at least for a while there. Okay, improved destroyer equipment. Great, that's what we were waiting for. Now, okay, so we do this and this both. Wait about 16 days. We do two of those. 19 days. And now, next focus. Naval doctrines, naval experience, great. level reach, great. Right. Basically, we just got occupied, I think, two more. Well, that should do it.
There we go. Well, I think we're going to end the episode here. I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you for liking the videos. I do appreciate that. Please post questions, comments, suggestions, ideas. Love hearing from you. See you next time for more Arts of Iron.